Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding last person to fit in the bus and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Wayfair interviews a number of times over the past two years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called Q with four different columns, person ID, person name, weight and turn. And these are the data types. Person ID is the primary key column for this table. This table has the information about all people waiting for a bus. The person ID and the turn columns will contain all numbers from 1 to n where n is the number of rows in the table. Okay. Turn determines the order of which the people will board the bus where turn equal to 1 denotes the first person to board the bus and turn equal to n denotes the last person to board the uh, last person to board. Weight is the weight of the person in kilograms. Okay. There is a queue of people waiting to board a bus. However, the bus has a weight limit of 1000 kilograms. So there may be some people who cannot board. Makes sense. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the person name of the last person that can fit on the bus without exceeding the weight limit. Okay. The test cases are generated such that the first person that does not exceed the weight limit. Okay. Let's go through this example. So these are the uh, data points in the queue table and like we have different people, their IDs, names, weight and you know, uh, their turn. So if you see uh, like what would be the last person who will fit into the bus without exceeding the weight limit of 1000 kilograms, right? So since uh, the people are going to board the bus based on their turns, so turn one, so the, this Alice would be the first person to board. So 250 kilograms, then second is 350, so Alex, because turn two, so it would be 600, then third person would be uh, turn number three is John Cena, so 400. And if you add 250 plus 350 plus 400, that is going to be exactly 1000 kgs. So Mary cannot board the bus because you know it is ex if she enters the bus, the total weight will be 1200, which is going to be more than 1000 kg, uh, kgs, right? So the last person who can fit into the bus without exceeding that weight limit is John Cena, right? And that is going to be the output. So that is what we need to do. So what we can do is the first thing is based on this Q table, we should calculate the running total of the weights. That is when the first person that is when the person with the turn one enters the bus, what is the total weight the bus is carrying, right? Then when the second person enters, what is the total weight then? Then the third and similarly right so let's go ahead with that so from this table called q what we are doing is let's return all the columns and then let's make a new column with the running total right so we are calculating the sum from the weight column right and since we are using a window function in this case to calculate the running total, what we are going to do is we need to use the over clause and how we are going to calculate the running total. So we need to first order by turn, right? Because when the first person goes in, then the second person goes in, then the third person, right? So what is the uh, sum of the weights up till then, right? So we order by the turn right and then since we need to calculate the running totals right so we should give them a frame that is start from the very beginning and wherever your cursor is so after you uh, perform this order by wherever your cursor is calculate the sum of the weight column up till that point so to do that we include keywords called rows between unbounded preceding and current row right so this what it is basically doing so let's let let me copy this and try to demonstrate what is being happening here so 
so this is right so when we say from q so this is the q table and select all columns okay fine all columns and then to uh, to calculate this new column let's uh, alias it as something like total right just you know so that i can demonstrate here so total so basically to calculate this the first thing that will be happening is that since we are writing over right so order by turn so this entire thing will be firstly ordered by the turn so you know uh, one two and then three then uh, four will be coming here right so let's say four is going to be here then five is going to be below right so five is going to be here and six so you see for this is for uh, calculating the total column right so this order by turn in ascending order and then when it says rows between unbounded preceding and current row so what it means is you start from the very beginning so at the first point right so when the cursor is cursor is at row one right so unbounded preceding so start from the very starting so since this is the start so from that particular start to the current row and current row is exactly the same place right so calculate the total so 250 sum of weight so 250 then cursor moves to 2 start from the very beginning so very beginning is row 1 and then cursor is at row 2 so row 1 plus row 2 250 plus 350 600 then go to uh, 3 right and then here again add this entire thing because row 1 plus row 2 plus row 3 right so it is going to be 1000 and similarly for right other ones as well so 1200 then 1375 and then 1875 right so this is what it is going to be okay so let's store this in a common table expression right okay so once we have this common table expression what we need to do we need to find the last person who can fit into the verse without exceeding that weight limit so obviously these people cannot get into the bus right because they are exceeding the weight limit so from this common table expressions if we only keep those rows where the total column is at least like that is less than or equal to the limit limit that that is thousand kgs right so if we from the common table expression only keep from the common table expression only keep those rows where the total is less than equal to 1000 right so basically what it will be do it will be removing all such rows right it will remove all these rows and then we, what we can do is we can return the name of the person, right? Because we need a person name in the output, but we can return the name of the person. But what we can do is, so it uh, then order by the total column, right? In decreasing order, right? So then what it will be having John Cena, Alex and Alice, right? So from common table expression, only keep those rows where the total is less than or equal to 1000. So these three rows, then select the name of the person. So Alice, Alex and John Cena order by the total in decreasing order. So since our uh, total 1000 is going to be before 600 and then 250. So John Cena, Alex and Alice and then limit it to the first one right so basically the last person who fits in the bus without exceeding the weight limit right let me go ahead and remove this this looks good let's see what happens when i run this okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again like looks difficult or medium difficulty level but not very difficult uh, all we had to do was you know to make sure that we know the running total and then only keep those rows where the total was you know below the weight limit and then you when you uh, order the weight limit or basically the run, uh, running total in a decreasing manner and just keep the first row 
then you are going to get the last person who is able to fit the bus without exceeding the weight limit. So this is how we do it. Let me know guys if there is any other way or a better way or more efficient way you can think of doing this. Uh, and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.